Today's topic is the three reasons why a man shouldn't chase after a woman. Now, I know for the women who are listening, some of you got your ears wide open and you're probably not even feeling the title so much, but there is a very good explanation and, and re there are very good reasons why a man should not chase after a woman. Now, let me say, I know that we who are believers uh, like to look at the scripture of uh, when a, a, man, a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. You know, I'm not saying it completely correct, but that doesn't mean a man who chases after a woman. But we've taken this scripture and we've used it to validate this idea that the man's supposed to chase or this idea that men are hunters so that's the reason why men are supposed to chase. But no, pursue, yes, and pursue and chase, it can be different. Yes, it can be a little wordplay there, but understand that, yes, a man should show interest. A man should basically throw his hat in the ring and he should show an effort to get to know a woman and all these things. But chasing, to chase someone is like something is running away from you and you're still trying to get go after it. A woman making you jump through all these extra hoops. This is not healthy. This is not good. And this is not a setup for a great relationship. So let's get to the specific three reasons why a man should not chase that after a woman. But as always, before we do that, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like the video. Share this with your friends and family and whoever else. And be sure to leave your comment on whether you think men should chase or not and how you see this whole situation. But let's get to the three reasons. Reason number one, there is a thin line between desire and desperation. What do I mean? I mean that when you are chasing something, you end up going into this mentality or this, you end up looking desperate in a lot of situations. This is not attractive to most women. The woman who's happy with this man chasing her like that, there's something else going on there and we'll get to that in reason number two. But understand that in most cases, when a man is chasing after a woman, it's not a good look on him. And he starts to lose the respect of that woman. Now, some of you may have seen examples of men who chased after women and after years or whatever finally got her. And now they seem like a happy couple. I'm sorry to say, but in a lot of these situations, I'm not saying all, but in a lot of them, it wasn't as if she truly fell in love with this man because his chase showed her so much. It's that she realized, I don't really have a better option anymore. I'm getting older. Uh, you know, let me just give this guy a chance. Or he's worn me down to where I'm just going to give in to his advances. That all sounds bad. And you know what? It's because it is. And that's the reality of a lot of these situations where the man is constantly chasing the woman. So understand that, yes, a man should show desire. But when it starts to look like desperation, you've crossed the line and that is not a good place to be. Reason number two why a man should not chase after a woman is because how you start is typically how you finish. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that in a lot of situations where the man has to chase after the woman. This is something that I really want the men to understand and embrace. When you are made to have to chase after her initially, you are typically going to end up in a relationship where the onus is always on you to make more of an effort, where she is always on such a high of a pedestal that is expected for you to make it work, for you to do this, for you to do that, where she gets to sit back and wait for your actions every single time. Now, again, this is a setup for disaster because in any relationship where you see this one-sidedness, you are headed for horrible things. And you're headed for that man is essentially getting burnt out, creating resentment in that relationship, animosity and all kinds of negative energy because there's not a mutual effort. That's the key. When you want a healthy, happy relationship, it's about a mutual effort from both parties. Both the man and the woman have to work together to build something amazing. But when a man is chasing, or on the flip side, if a woman is chasing a man, everything is off. Everything is off and you're headed for disaster every single time. So understand that that's a huge red flag. Also, what you have to understand about women, and of course, I never want to say all, 
but a whole lot of them <laughs> is that if a woman makes you chase, there's only two reasons why, in my opinion, this is happening. Reason number one, she's not that interested in you. She may be on the fence. She may think there's certain good qualities about you, but she's really not sold on the idea of being with you and not sold in the way that if you simply presented a couple more things, you'd be good. No, she's just not feeling it. Like from the inside of her, it's just not there. Whether it's a lack of attraction, whether it's just something that's just missing, it's not there. But she may allow you to chase because she, she wants to see if maybe she can finally turn that corner and actually walk into this and make a relationship happen with you. The second reason why a woman will make you chase is because she has her walls up. She's been hurt. She's been through some stuff before. So essentially, there's some emotional damage there. And because of that, she wants you to show her enough for her to feel safe to now put herself out there and embrace being with you. Now, for a lot of women right now listening, you may think, well, that makes perfect sense. There is nothing wrong with that. No, there's a lot wrong with that. Here's, re here's the reason why. If a woman has a wall up, and you're waiting for the man to show how great he is. This is a woman who is always on guard. So what will happen is this. Even if the man shows enough for the woman to feel like she can embrace this, the minute he does anything, anything that remotely looks like anything she's been through before or looks like any kind of semblance of a red flag, she's running back behind her walls and we're back to square one. She is so easily triggered because she never healed from the issue. She's just waiting for you to give her enough reason to try to climb over her wall. The other thing that can happen is the more you do well, the more she becomes skeptical of you. The more she thinks this is too good to be true. Again, you can't heal her. And her lack of healing is going to block her from her ability to fully embrace whatever your true intentions are, or you being a really good, great guy who truly loves her. So this idea that you can just chase her and convince her and essentially emotionally beat her down, because that's what you're trying to do in a lot of ways, for her to finally accept that you're really about her, it's not going to happen. Or if it happens, there's going to be a lot of unhealthy factors and foundational pieces in place that's going to set things up for bigger problems later. So not the thing to do. And let's get to number three. Number three. Well, you know what? Before I get to number three, let me just tell you that all these reasons and a whole lot more of information is in my book. Where is it? I'm sorry. He Who Finds a Wife. Now, some of y'all probably didn't know I have a book for men. I actually have two books for men. I actually started off by writing a book for men. But either way, it's available. He Who Finds a Wife. You can get it. Click the link below. Click the link in the comments or just go to He Who Finds dot com it's it's there to help the men but i'm gonna tell you a lot of women have read this book and also gained a lot from it and have loved it you can check the reviews on amazon i'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy it but i definitely want the men to check it out he who finds a wife so let's get to reason number three reason number three is because when you have to chase after a woman it becomes an unnecessary distraction listen when you are chasing after something you start to get tunnel vision. You start to overlook red flags. You start to uh, allow things to fall to the wayside in your life that you need to be focused on. And let me tell you something. God does not want you so focused on the woman that you're forgetting what you're supposed to be doing for you and in your life. So it can cause a lot of problems when we're in the the mindset of chasing. Again, when we're building something with a mutual effort with somebody, that's great. That's an amazing, wonderful thing. But when it's a one-sided affair and you're the one putting in all the work and you're the one trying to convince them to give you a chance and convince them to be with you, you are putting yourself in a very dangerous position. And it is more, more than likely going to shoot yourself in the foot. It's not going to work in your favor. So understand that it is unhealthy for you in your personal growth and what you need to be accomplishing in your life. But as I mentioned in reasons number one and number two, it is unhealthy for the potential relationship that could come from this chasing. Because yes, sometimes the man who chases catches the woman, but then he ain't happy with what he caught. 
And then we got a whole other problem in our hands. Now we got people married, getting divorced, or having miserable marriages, having toxic households, because the foundational pieces were never there to have a happy and successful relationship. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. If you meet one of these women, run the other way. Don't do it, don't deal with it, avoid these types of women. My name is Stefan Laboustier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks. Back with another dating and relationship advice video. Today